This is QIQ, the question in question. Brought to you by Therapy Bites Art Lab. Here to take a bite out of modern day pseudo psychological psycho malarkey. Now entering the Art Lab studio. Today's T Ballers, a collection of fellow strugglers confronting personal challenges, navigating precarious relationships, and tackling trauma. Humans like each of us, juggling difficult human emotions, each here with unique life experiences, lived stories, and questions we'll bite into that just might help you, too. And now, entering the Art Lab studio for the 9,880th time is the host of Therapy Bites QIQ, Doc Heath. Okay. Hopefully we're good. Uh, punch buttons. I've done everything but get out the three-pound hammer. And I'll repeat what I just said. Uh, we have QIQ every Tuesday at 9 o'clock, every Thursday at 9 o'clock. Uh, we draw from a bank of questions and answers that we accumulate through uh, our different platforms, especially our podcast and the drops in the podcast, such as Psych Secrets, and I'll show you those uh, here in just a moment. But we're going to go ahead and get going, and hopefully the audio is coming through now. I see a big, bright green bar. And our categories for tonight, as always, Couch Comes Questions. 
Creature feature. Social media smackdown. Fresh from the therapy couch. Couch crumbs. And a neuro. That's actually our uh, psych secrets, but it is a neurological thing. And uh, let's go to our first question here, which is from the category of Art Lab... Art Lab Couch Crumbs Questions. Art Lab Couch Crumbs Questions. This theorist, a doodler, doodled a picture where they stood in the third place to two other major mental health theorists, one of which was also famous for being a doodler. And I'm going to get my trusty clock going here and put 60 seconds on the clock. I'll repeat the question for 400 psi coins. This theorist, who is a doodler, doodled a picture where they stood in the third place to two other major mental health psychological theorists, uh, one of which was also famous for being a doodler. And we like to share some psychological history here. Uh, we're here to correct some misinformation because social media is so full of misinformation and we, uh, yep, thank you, have audio, and uh, thank you guys for bearing with me and for kind of chatting back and forth. Uh, what theorist are we talking about? For 400 cycles, this theorist, he was a doodler. He loved just doodle things on paper. He's uh, one of my favorite theorists. Doodled a picture where they stood in the third place of two of their major mental health theorists, one of which was also famous for being a doodler. And somebody says, who is Aaron Beck? You know, that's close. But the answer is, da, da, da. Uh, do I, I, maybe I should hit the, uh, <laughs> the warning bell there. Uh, the theorist is Victor Frankel. Victor Frankel, he, he drew a picture like he was standing on an Olympic platform. And there was Freud, and he was at the top position. There was Jung, and then at the lowest position was the ever humble Victor Frankl, who, by the way, never wanted to put his name on the book. He was going to publish his book, Man's Search for Meaning, uh, anonymously, and a friend talked him into publishing it with his name on it. Okay, let's go to the next question here, and it comes from Creature Feature. For 600 Psy Coins, this little critter has three heads. Three heads. Listen up carefully. Three heads and represents what I call the unholy trinity, the unholy trinity of cognitive distortions. And we'll put 60 seconds on the clock there. We have a whole zoo of critters, a whole zoo of critters, and some of those are ants, which stands for automatic negative thoughts. And by the way, we just got a tornado Oh, tornado watches are likely here. It's been very storming in this area. Uh, anybody with a with a question for that? This is the uh, answer. This little critter has three heads and represents the unholy trinity of cognitive distortions. Which little critter from the art lab might that be? We have about twenty three seconds left in that. And yes, uh, we we have uh, tornado watches in the area. We hope that you're safe where you are. Uh, find a safe place to be if storms are coming through your area. It's always good to have a football helmet. I'm not making that up. Uh, one of the recommendations for home safety is to outfit the family and the kids with a football helmet. And because the major cause of death in tornadoes and storms is uh, head injuries. Okay. If I don't see a question. Oh, and here we have. We do have a Sasquatch. That's close. You know, we love Sasquatch. Sasquatch size smashes cognitive distortions. But this is a bit of a tricky one. Uh, this one is, what is the fortune-telling, mind-reading, catastrophizing that? Fortune-telling, mind-reading, catastrophizing that. We need to create uh, one that has three heads. It's actually three in one. And let's go back to... You are a fellow human struggling with difficult emotions, a fracturing relationship, parenting problem, mental health difficulty, have a psychotherapy from hell story to tell, or a challenging life experience question, and would like to share your story by stepping up to bat as a T-baller, either register by texting QIQ to 1-870-686-4196 and join our Therapy Bites community, or send a postcard with your name, address, phone number, 
your email address and age to the address on the screen. Therapy Bites, QIQ, PO Box 1391, Jonesboro, Arkansas, 72403, 1391. And yes, we always love to hear from you T-Ballers out there. That stands for Therapy Bites Art Labbers. And of course, Art Lab stands for Accurate Realistic Thoughts, Life Affirming Beliefs. The next question here, or answer that is, let's see where that's going to come from. That comes from Social Media Smackdown. Social Media Smackdown. And the quest, the answer is, this is a brand new psychomalarkey meme, which is really just the cognitive distortions of mind reading and catastrophizing twin together pulled together combined together that someone's behavior in a relationship is simply to lead you on oh and that is the t-ball triple that is the t-ball triple and let's see if we have any responses to that for 400 psi coins in social media smackdown this is a brand new psycho malarkey meme and, and we don't support it we don't put it out we don't believe that people should fall for it we don't believe that psychologically that exists uh, but it is really just a cognitive distortion called mind reading uh, plus catastrophizing that someone's behavior uh, is there to simply lead you on to pull you along in a relationship and that is the answer for 400 psi coins and we only have a few seconds left here four three two one and we're out of time and of course that is called breadcrumbing breadcrumbing and again labeling doesn't help how would you know that someone is leading you on you would have to have psychic ability what's the best way to know the best way to know is simply ask them here's what i see going on What's, what's up with that? What are your intentions? And then uh, to continue having discussions, continue having discussions. Okay, let's go back to the board. And we've already had our T-ball triple there. And this question, this uh, answer comes from Fresh from the Therapy Couch for 800 Psy Coins. Fresh from the Therapy Couch. Uh, this is something about which parents think they have the psychic ability and attempt to read the mind of their children regarding assimilating new information. Gosh, that sounds pretty complicated. Uh, but we say it's fresh from the therapy couch because we have so many uh, clients, so many people that come to us for help and they think things like this. But for 800 Psycoins, the answer is it's something about which parents think they have the psychic ability uh, an attempt to mind read regarding their children's assimilating new information. And we have about 40 seconds left on the clock there. Let's see if anybody can come up. Oops, I hit that button too quickly, didn't I? You guys bear with me. Buttons, buttons everywhere. Uh, and, not, and too many fingers to press them. It is a... Uh, cognitive distortion called mind reading where parents think, you know, my kid's just not getting it. They're just not assimilating. Oh, look at that. There's a, a good guess. Assuming, you know, that, that actually will be very, very close. Very, very close. And we're out of time in about four seconds. Three, two, and one. And no, uh, oh, we have another one here. What is discipline? And the question is, uh, the question is, what is mind reading? Um, I'm sorry, what is listening? What is listening? Uh, uh, thinking that you know if your kid is listening or not without asking them is a type of parental mind reading. Uh, how do you know a kid's not listening? You'd have to be able to reach inside the uh, crevices, the vault of their skull, and see the absence of this, and even an MRI is not going to tell us that. It's best just to have a conversation. Here in the art lab, we always recommend, when in doubt, have a conversation. When in doubt, have a conversation. If you plan on being in the local area of your podcast player app and would like complimentary tickets to the Therapy Bites QIQ Art Lab studio audience, please search Therapy Bites on your device and just smash that subscribe button. Your complimentary ticket grants you access to alerts so you'll never miss a show.
Okay, guys, thank you for joining us and staying with us. And yes, if uh, uh, we would always, always, always love to hear about you guys or from you guys. And let's go on to the next question here. And it is going to come from the Couch Crumbs newsletter. And oh my, this sounds very familiar. Sounds very familiar. And the answer is they are the four D's to delete from relationship communication. They are the four D's to delete from relationship communication. Hey, maybe if you were with us last time, you, you might have heard the same question. Sometimes these things are, are like the proverbial bad pennies. They just keep on coming back up. But why do we do that? We do that because we really want our T-ballers to get this stuff ingrained in their brains. And uh, they are good grains for your brain. So we want them to be ingrained in your brain so that you can stop sabotaging your life and start being healthier in your relationships. Uh, these are the four D's to delete. And here's a response. Here's another response. And those are close. When in doubt, talk it out. I love that. When in doubt, talk it out. That's pretty cool. We only have a few seconds left on this. We'll have to move on to our last question of the evening for QIQ. But no worries. We'll be back next Thursday. Actually, this coming Thursday, day after tomorrow, uh, with an overdose of the question in question. And the answer there, or I'm sorry, the question is, what are denied, dismiss, deflect, debate? Uh, memorize those. What are deny, dismiss, deflect, and debate. Those really don't help in relationship communication. Uh, oh, denying. That just didn't happen. Dismissing. Ah, that's silly. Deflecting. Well, you you do it too. You do the same thing. See, that's deflecting. Does that help? No, it doesn't help. And debating. Well, my evidence shows this. Well, my evidence shows this. Well, my evidence shows this other thing. In a discussion, denying, dismissing, deflecting, debating do not help. We encourage you to be aware of those and take those out of your relationship vocabulary. Let's go on to the next question. Premier accommodations for our T-Ball contributors provided electronically by the luxurious Art Lab Studio. Overlooking the steaming cesspool of pseudo-psychological social media psychomalarkey and located in cyberspace on your favorite podcast hosting platform, where we invite you to the most psychomologically thrilling podcast in town while you feast on our award-winning psychologically nutritious buffet of Therapy Bites Cuisine, conscientiously cooked up by your hard-working T-Ball team chefs. Okay, and we actually did have another response. What are doubt, denial, disrespect, danger? Those are all Ds, and I love those. I could work those in, but the four Ds here were actually, yes, a deny, dismiss, deflect, and debate. And for our final question of the evening, we are going to go to Psych Secrets, which is also called Nero, and the answer is for 800 Psy Coins. New research demonstrates that this can occur following an injury and beca can become a habit based on classical conditioning and can persist even after the injury has been healed to an extent that it is no longer medically the causal factor. And we'll hit our timer here. Uh, new research shows that this can occur following an injury and it can become a habit based on classical conditioning, uh, classical conditioning, say that five times real fast, and can persist even after the injury has been healed to the extent that the, you know, the, the, the original injury is uh, no longer medically the cause of factor. And this is one of my favorite things that I learned uh, through my tour of duty uh, getting my Ph.D., and uh, that's the answer. The, the question in question is, of course, what is the question and you are welcome to answer this we have a response here what is phantom pain that is very very close uh, a, a professor of mine used to study with the guy that kind of did a lot of research in uh, phantom pain uh villain or rama Condren. everybody calls him uh, rama that knows it but he did he has some great ted talks out there we're out of time on this particular 
uh, QIQ uh, for 800 side coins. Uh, new research shows that this is going to occur following an injury and can become a habit based on classical conditioning and can persist even after the injury has been healed to an extent that that injury is no longer medically uh, the cause of factor. And the question is, what is learned pain? What is learned pain? Thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you so very much. Catch us next time. Next time on Therapy Bites Art Lab QIQ, Doc Keith and T Ball Collars face off against steaming piles of pseudo psychological psycho malarkey directly from your favorite social media platforms, or perhaps from the psychotherapy couch of a pill pushing, emotion demonizing, bobble headed, woo woo clinician who fed their kooky Kool Aid to you. This is Art Pato speaking. Therapy Bites QIQ is a Dr. I'm a Floyd Knot production. Distributed by the Therapy Bites Art Lab Podcast.